Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, July 1st, 2019. I hope you guys had a fantastic rest of June. I know I did. I did get to finish my project. I actually got it in a day early because I got it done and I was like, you know what? I just want to stop messing with it. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it in and I did really well on it. I aced it. I'm very, very happy about it. My instructor was very pleased. I was very pleased with the final product. So thank you to all of you guys that, um, you know, wished me well and um, sent good positive vibes. I got exactly what I needed to do done and I couldn't be happier. And so now I am back. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope everyone had a great weekend. It was, um, uh, the Pride Parade was, did happen yesterday here in the city. I did not attend. I stayed very far away from it. I was not in an energy to um, be around massive crowds of people. It was a big one this year. <clears throat> it was the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall riots. Um, so it was a big, big thing. And so it made sense that there would be so many people involved. I just couldn't do it. Um, and so then, so with that said, that leads us into our reading for the day. Now, first of all, I have a brand new deck. I'm using the Vice Versa deck now for morning coffee. Um, this was a suggestion uh, by some of the viewers. Thank you for the suggestion. And actually, I got the suggestion more than once. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, you know what? That sounds like a really great idea. I've been wanting to work with this deck for a long time. I just never got around to it. So um, here we are, um, and you have to bear with me because I'm still kind of learning how to use this deck. I used it once um, and it worked well. Um, uh, and I meant to read through the whole book before I got here for morning coffee today, um, but I didn't. I only read through the major arcana. I didn't get through the minor arcana, which is okay. Um, I'll do it eventually, but I wanted to read the book just to give a frame of reference for myself in how this deck was developed. Um, but I'll get there eventually. So I'm going strictly purely off of intuition right now, guys. So please bear with me. There may be some pauses. And also, um, with the way this deck is designed, um, I'm having trouble shuffling it without things going in reverse. So that's an extra, that's a double whammy. <laughs> so I have a pretty strong learning curve when it comes to this deck, but I'm actually really excited about using it. Like I said, I did get to use it once. Um, I used it at a party. Um, you guys may have seen it actually because I reposted in my story what a friend of mine who was throwing the party posted for their story. Um, so you might have seen that picture on my Instagram page, and that was me using this deck. So here we go, um, getting into today's energies. I do have a little bit of a pre-shuffle here. Sorry, guys, moving things out of my way. <laughs> I do have a, a bit of a pre-shuffle here. Um, we have the moon with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Now, um, this is... So we're looking at, uh, okay, so um, give me a second, guys. I have to describe, I have to figure out how I'm going to be speaking of this. It's like I have to develop a whole new vocabulary for this deck. It's, it's challenging and it's daunting, but it's actually really cool. I'm really excited about it. Anyway, we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords. Both of them are in reverse. Now, In th this deck describes these cards as not, neither front or back. It's more like this way or that way, okay? So we have that way, which is here, in which we have, you know, both, you see the backs of both individuals, okay? But these came out this way, where you're seeing the front. Now, I understand that this is not <laughs> on the Ace of Cups. This is a fountain. It's not an individual. Okay, fine, I get it. But it's a figure. It's a human figure. It's a woman. Um, to me, what this is saying is that, I'm sorry, you might be hearing my stomach. The first thing that I got with this was that 
You know, there's somebody out there that is not really showing their true colors, is not really allowing themselves to um, express the love that they may have or the love that they may feel. I'm also getting that for some of you specifically, this Ace of Cups in reverse has to do with you having to love yourself or finding ways to love yourself. Now, that is the energy that I was picking up on the most over this past weekend, especially yesterday. Um, I had some sessions with someone, her name is Leanne, um, and she is fantastic. Uh, she goes by The Shell Revival. I love her, I absolutely love her. Um, but she helped me kind of get down to the nitty, to the, to the nitty gritty. Um, and a lot of my own issues have to come, uh, stem from needing to love myself and learning to how to love myself. And I spent a lot of time and energy this weekend focusing on um, trying to get that momentum going. The biggest, the biggest thing for me was that I don't know how, I don't know what it feels like, you know, to, to love myself unconditionally. I'm definitely one of those people that have always valued, put my worth in how other people see me rather than how I, you know, how I see myself. And I definitely have come to understand that this is going to be a lifelong challenge for me, um, that this is a major thing that I'm here to learn um, as an individual. <clears throat> so what I'm getting with this, with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse is talking about no longer deceiving yourself, no longer backstabbing yourself, no more sabotaging yourself. Um, it's time to understand how to love yourself, okay? It's time to understand or to at least accept some sort of, even if there's love that's being offered to you and you just don't know how to accept it. This Ace of Cups here is, to me, is, is speaking of being able to accept some sort of love that is given to you, that is shown to you. Um, and then you have the moon here. And then on the other side, we have, ah, oh, right, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So it's just, and, and just because these things are in reverse here, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, it's bad. It doesn't mean that it's not coming to you. It just means that there's some sort of blockage, okay? The moon, I don't, I, I believe we have a new moon coming up soon. Um, and I know we have some eclipses happening this month, but, um, the moon here is talking about the cycles. Yes, you, there could be some fear involved. There could be, you know, intuition and whatnot. But this is really just talking in this, what I'm picking up for right now, for the energy right now, um, the moon is talking about the cycles of getting through all of these things and, and the purging and the triggering and understanding and learning and uncovering, discovering, yes, discovery with the, t with the moon. What is keeping you from reaching your Ten of Cups, all right? This is definitely an energy of um, uncovering, revealing what it is that needs to be seen at this moment so that you can, in fact, keep moving forward towards your Ten of Cups, yes? All right, so that was a cute little pre-shuffle here. <laughs> I, I, I really, you guys, I'm having, I'm really having to learn how to do this, relearning how to read <laughs> how I want to do this with this deck because it's so uniquely different. All right, guys. So let me just settle in here and we'll see what comes out for the day. Bear with me, you guys. Bear with me. The Two of Cups just wanted to show itself. Um... And now the Two of Swords is here. Interesting. The Two of Swords is in reverse. That's a good thing. All right. Anyway, let's just, let's see what happens. Totally flying by the seat of my pants here. No expectations. Just going for it. Should be interesting. Yeah. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, July 1st, Monday, July 1st, 2019.
Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, some things that I forgot to mention. One, these messages are timeless. Yes, so whenever you find it, that's when it is most likely going to resonate for you. Second, I am going to be working on getting the July readings out this week. I had hoped to, I had hoped to do it over the week, over last week, but I had, I, I, I was being overzealous, and um, I really needed to devote last week to school, to like finishing up all the work that I needed for school. So unfortunately, the, the, the July readings are coming out a little late, but they're happening regardless. There's that two of cups again. Okay, I'm gonna give this five shuffles and we'll see. There was one more thing I wanted to say and now I can't remember, but that's okay. All right, July 1st, Monday, July 1st, 2019. Okay, guys. This is number four, Monday, July 1st, 2019. Here we go. Last shuffle. All right. Let's see what we get here. Best messages. Please, Spirit, for the collective Monday. July 4th, 1st, Monday, July 1st, Monday, July 1st, 2019, Woo. okay, okay, so overall energy, we're starting you with the seven of cups, and on the other side, we have the nine of cups in reverse, all right, so it looks like we are... Definitely seeking some sort of satisfaction here. Yeah, we're looking for satisfaction. Something is very unclear, all right? So Four of Cups is the base of our situation right now that we're talking about. Um, there is a, a, I'm hearing there's boredom, but there's also a lack of freedom. That's something specific that I heard, a lack of freedom. Okay, that's very interesting. But there's something that's unclear. So we're trying to figure out something here. Ace of Swords in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords, oof, the King of Cups in reverse. What is this? This is the King of Pentacles, upright, strength. Wow, 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 wow. We also have, I believe this is the Queen of Swords. Yes, the Queen of Swords is here. Um, all of these court cards and their backs are turned. A ten of pentacles with the eight of wands in reverse. That is very interesting. Okay, so already I'm picking up there's some sort of family situation here. Because I'm getting that from the ten of pentacles. There could be a, a patriarch or a matriarch within your family that um, is really running the show, or at least you feel like is running a sh running the show. Okay. Okay. This is very interesting. So what I'm getting here for this is, pr and this is fairly specific. Um, this one piece is pretty specific. So there's some sort of family situation in which there's a patriarch or a matriarch here. I'm hearing patriarch though specifically, and that could just be influenced by the, 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 the older gentleman that's on this card here. But also that's what my intuition is saying. That's what I'm hearing. So that's what I'm gonna go with, but it could also be a matriarch for some of you. Either way, there's somebody in a place of power here in some sort of established system. And with this eight of wands in reverse, I'm, get, I'm just getting like there's no communicating with them. There's no talking to them. There's no change. It's as if you want somebody here or maybe it's you 
your you you desire a fresh new outlook on the situation a fresh new approach this could be business as well it doesn't have to be family this could be business okay maybe this is like your job and i'm speaking of a supervisor or a boss maybe the, even the ceo if you work that closely with them but there's a sense of boredom here with the with the four of cups there's a sense of boredom um and with the ace of swords here it's like either you don't know what to do about it or you have an idea it could be brewing i just heard there could be an idea that's brewing here that's coming to fruition that you're starting to flesh out but um You either don't know what to do about it or there is a blockage in the truth of the situation okay and then we have the a the the wheel of fortune now in this depiction of the wheel of fortune here is the front here's one this this is this side of it this would be like the normal side i guess you could say this is the other side of the coin the flip side of the coin um you have the magician the figure of the magician here in this side of the de of the card um and what this is saying to me is like you really just kind of have to go with the flow here um you can't fight the wheel turning the wheel is going to turn but instead of there yeah there's definitely an energy of going against the grain or maybe at least wanting to go against the grain but i understand i understand what's going on here because you do have the four of swords and you see <laughs> you see how there are things burning in the background and this guy's just like uh, not here for it not having it the thing about it is he can't do anything about it okay so what this is saying to me, inevitably, something is going to change. It's just a matter of time. And I feel like some of you are maybe trying to force something to happen. But the Wheel of Fortune, in, in this sense, is saying, look, you can only control so much. You have to let the universe take its turn and do what it needs to do on your behalf. Everything is going to be working out in your favor. Okay, but you have to go with the flow here. You have to continue to control your aspects of the situation, your life, your how you your vibrational match to the situation. There is a change that's going to happen. And I, I think maybe because you're aware of this change is coming, like like you intuitively, I feel like you see whoever this whoever I'm talking to here, I feel like you know that this destruction, this fire or whatnot, whatever this fire would symbolize for you in your situation, that's inevitable. Change is coming anyway. But you can't force it. Le the strength here. You see you see how the these two are facing the devil? To me, this is saying that there's some sort of, well, that can go two ways, actually. There's either some sort of need to control the situation from a really unhealthy place. And this could be this boss, this supervisor, or this patriarch, matriarch, whoever this person is that's in control in this Ten of Pentacles here. Or it could be you trying to control the situation too much, thinking that you know what's best here, when in reality, the only, only being that would really be able to tell you what's best overall would be the universe. And so that's why you have this Wheel of Fortune saying, align with the universe, align with the wheel turning, align with the cycle moving forward, instead of trying to control it, align with it, and let it happen naturally, organically, yes? Now you have the Queen of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups, but the King of Cups is the only one in reverse, and all of them are, their backs are turned. The King of Cups is the only one that kind of worries me a little bit. And not even, I'm not even worried about it, I'm just kind of concerned a little. 
because I feel like you're doing the right thing here in looking off into the distance, looking off towards something new. There is a sense of stability, of um, sure of one's, being sure of oneself, knowing who you are, being well manifested, knowing what you have to offer to the world, maybe even knowing what's coming to you, what you're deserving of. I really feel like you're, there are people out here, either you, maybe I'm talking to you, whoever I'm talking to here, I'm just gonna keep saying you for, to, to make it easier, but I really feel like you're looking off into the distance with this King of Pentacles with, I just heard a cornucopia. It's like you're holding a cornucopia within you. You know that you have this. You know that you have this abundance, this fruitfulness. You, you know that your life is probably taking a brand new direction of, and things are looking great. And you're kind of like turning your back here, which is good with the Queen of Swords. You're like saying, look, I'm just not even gonna hand, I'm not even gonna deal with it. I'm not even gonna give this any of my time, any of my attention, which is a good thing. And also, I really feel like this King of, Sword, King of Pentacles and Queen of Swords are really kind of working in tandem together because it's like the Queen of Swords is taking the initiative in cutting out the things that are unnecessary from the um, inner point of view, from the internal, from the energetic point of view, which is leading the King of Pentacles to take certain action in whatever it is you're trying to manifest here. Okay, but you have to take your hands off the wheel and let the universe drive and you just keep your vision here between the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Now, the only other thing that really kind of concerns me here is this King of Cups energy. This feels very spiteful. Even though, even though you are looking off into the distance and changing up your game, recognizing that things are not really going to continue moving in this uh, any, anymore. It's like you've reached the end. So now this Eight of Wands can either be you recognizing that there is no more movement here, there is no more growth here, things are not gonna change, you've reached the end of the road, or this is you physically choosing and saying, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm not going in this direction anymore. I'm not moving this way anymore. I'm putting a stop to this. Also, Ten of Pentacles does kind of, in my opinion, does represent some sort of lesson learned sometimes. Um, it is a um, indicator of time because the Ten of Pentacles does represent or can represent going, uh, being in something for the long haul, having invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into something, maybe even money, resources, whatnot, whatever. I just feel like it's not, I keep hearing, it's not going any further. You've reached the end of the road here with this situation. And it's like, you know you want to change. You know you, you have some sort of epiphany, you have some sort of knowledge, we hit the Ace of Swords here, but it's blocked. It's like you don't know what to do with it. Maybe you can't do it, anything with it. Maybe you're in a situation, and maybe this is a work situation, or whatever, it doesn't have to be work, but that's kind of what it's feeling like right now. Maybe you're in a situation in which you know the truth and you absolutely cannot do anything about it. Maybe you're legally bound, maybe you're, you sign some sort of, I don't know, um, uh, non-disclosure agreement. I'm, pff, that's kind of what this feels like with this Ace of Swords. It feels like you're being stifled. But then the universe is asking you to just wait and relax because I really do feel like this <laughs> situation is going to burn itself down anyway. So maybe you're being blocked and the universe is saying, look, there's no reason for you, even though you know there's no reason for you to say anything. All you need to do right now is just focus on manifesting what it is you want. Get in alignment with the universe and so that you can get in alignment with what it is you want so that you can make some sort of transition with the wheel. That's, what this, that's really what this side of the Wheel of Fortune is saying to me in this situation. Align with what it is you truly desire so that when the time comes and the universe opens that door for you, you can just move right on forward. But this King of Cups in reverse feels spiteful. Even though you're making the right decision, looking off into the future and keeping, you know, keeping your thoughts in check with the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups is also looking off into the future, but he is not happy. 
his emotions all over, are all over the place. He's spiteful. He it, it could just be, it, it, this really could symbolize that you might be taking some sort of action from a place of pain and hurt and emotional volatility possibly rather than being emotionally balanced and grounded. So just keep that in mind. Now that doesn't mean that you, there, that you need to hide your emotions or push your emotions away or stifle them, no. What that means is handle them, face them, deal with your emotions now, deal with what you're feeling with now at least as much as you can so that as you move forward, that's not a hiccup or that's not something that could create some sort of issue moving forward for you. I'm not, I'm not trying to foreshadow, I'm just saying, deal with your emotions now. Okay. Okay. Bear with me for a second. I just want to see where I where I want to go from here. Let's do some clarification. Let's get some clarification on here. Um, I'm not going to try and clarify specific things. What I'm seeing is just um, an overall clarification, guidance, or whatnot. Yeah, guidance, we'll say. Give this three shuffles. So, just some clarification, guidance, moving forward. And then we'll move on to our oracle section, yeah? Last shuffle here. Okie dokie. Guidance, please. Best message, spirit. Ooh, the chariot. All right. That's enough. Okay. Okay, cool. Underneath the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so this is a time to do your work, to continue doing your work. Um, I'm hearing fight for what you believe in. All right? Aha. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords with the Eight of Cups and the Chariot. Some of you need to hear that you need to leave this fighting behind you and just move on. Um... I'm picking up specifically that that somebody here, whoever this resonates with, whatever, somebody here has been wondering if they should move on, if they should stop fighting for this. And here is your proof, Five of Swords. This energy or this situation is petty, narcissistic, is shit starter, is lose-lose. Nobody wins here. I am feeling like this is a job. This is a corporation of some sort. Or it's something... It's some sort of established family dynamic that maybe feels like a corporation. I don't know. But it's time to put a stop to this and walk away. Eight of Cups. With your head held high and your emotions in check. All right. The chariot here is talking about what the King of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune here has, is trying to talk about. Instead of allowing your emotions to rule you, to run your life, you have to get them in check so that you are best equipped to move forward without getting, without letting the devil get the best of you. Strength, okay? Taming the beast. Even though you're being taunted, that's kind of what I'm seeing here with the devil. You're being taunted. You're being provoked. It's like somebody's poking the bear, but it's within the bear's best interest to not react because that's exactly what they want. They want the bear to react so that it gives them a reason to put the bear down. I'm not saying anybody's getting euthanized or killed or anything like that, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Whatever, you guys get it. It's a hypothetical, whatever. Don't, don't allow that to happen, okay? Don't allow that to happen. But get yourself balanced so that you can move forward 
swiftly, all right? It is in taking your power back that you find your satisfaction. You see here how the Nine of Cups originally was reversed? Well, you get your satisfaction when you take your power back, when you take control of your domain and not allow anyone to provoke you. Yes? Yes. Okay, guys. Excellent. So now let's get our Oracle Guidance here from the Crystal Mandala deck. Crystal Mandala, Crystal Mandala, whatever, whatever. it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what we've got. Your Oracle Guidance for the day. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Best message, please, spirit. Woo! That one. All right. We have card number 31. I'm sorry, 35. Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what's going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may fear, oh, I'm sorry, you may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success, and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, oh, okay. So... I am doing, I'm so sorry guys, I should have said all this in the beginning, but I'm doing, I am opening um, private readings again. So if you would like a private reading, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Also, I have put back the links for finding your Eastern and Western charts. Um, you, I, I'm explaining all of that in the, in the monthly reading. So you, so once those come out, as those come out, you'll be able to get the lowdown on that. But I just wanted to add them back in. So there they are. Okay, guys, much love. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.